students, welcome to class. We are behind the scenes here of a premiere and I am reading your comments and going to be responding to as many as I can. Today's video that's going to be going up in 28 minutes is about me finding this little book nook. And in this video, I am talking about how we should stop teaching kids to be speciesist. If you wanna see that video, you can just go and find it in the rest of my videos um, on my channel. Oh, today, let's just update you. We have now 84,000.3 subscribers. So thank you very much. It is August 24th, 2021. Right now, I am, I am in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and it's early morning. And so many of the people responding are from the other side of the world who are either in Australia or uh, basically around that part of the world, 12 hours away because a lot of people are still sleeping here. It's um, only 6.30 in the morning here, or seven, something like that, it's early. All right, so let's have a look here. So we have Constantin here who says, um, Katie can make you a mod. I'm sorry she is resting probably somewhere now. <laughs> she will be back when the premiere starts. In the meantime, keep the comments going. Okay, so Jacob wants to be um, a moderator. So how about I'll just write at Jacob um, what was his last name? Jacob MCM. Okay. Uh, keep teaching here. If you prove that you understand the ethics of veganism, whoops, veganism, I can make you a teaching assistant. Whoops. And your name will be in blue. All right, so there. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, eat all animals. No, don't do that. You don't need to eat animals or wear them or use them. Go vegan today. Yes, go vegan today. Great. Vegan Tem Australia says, watch Dairy is Scary on YouTube. Yeah, Dairy is Scary is a, an important video to watch. Uh, it's only five minutes long, and there you can learn about, let me see if I can put it on the screen here for you. Dairy is Scary. It is um, a video that is by Erin Janus, and it is, Hi okay, guys, so sit. I'll just show you here. This is her. She is actually from Ontario, Canada, and she made this video that is very popular. It has six million views, and it is all about the dairy industry and how terrible the dairy industry is. Let's watch just Since a few seconds. Since everyone's so busy these days, I'm gonna explain to you how the dairy industry works in five minutes. Like other female mammals, cows only lactate or produce milk when they're pregnant or have a newborn to feed. So the dairy industry inseminates or impregnates cows starting at the age of around 12 months over and over and over again so they keep making milk. And it's a rather routine process. You see, first the industry jacks off a bunch of bulls, sometimes using a hand or help from an electroejaculator, which is basically a giant cow dildo that goes into the anus of the bull until he blows. And that semen is collected and then inserted into the vagina of a female cow with a long tube, usually while she's confined in what the industry calls a rape rack. And sometimes... So, you can see that this is about the dairy industry and it is called Dairy is Scary. I highly recommend that you watch it and that you learn what goes on there. So you will understand why we vegans are here, why we are talking about protecting the animals so much because the industry is absolutely horrific. So let's see here. Um, they rape cows in the industry. That is zoophilia, bestiality. If you're against that, stop eating dairy products. Constantin says, fetus skin is in your purse of a fetus baby calf. This is utterly immoral because they make purses and shoes and um, jackets and even some couches out of the skin of animals. And it, the softer the leather is, the younger the animal was who was murdered. So please don't hurt animals. What do we have here? Vegan Alex says, why love dogs but eat pigs? Pigs are just Pigs are like humans and should be treated like humans. 
don't pay for the suffering and be vegan. So vegan Alex sounds like he is trying, could be a she, I guess, is trying to prove that they are vegan. So let's give this person a chance. I'll make them a moderator on this channel and we'll see if they can teach well or not. We're looking for people to um, basically uh, copy and paste the comments that I have already um, come up with. So you should be, if you want to be a moderator, you should be writing all kinds of things about the chickens what go, that go on and the pigs and the cows and so on. So for example, chicken wings belong on chickens. Don't pay people to murder innocent animals just because you like the taste. Instead, imagine you are the victim and have compassion. Be kind, be vegan and start now. So that would be an example of something. If you want to be a moderator on this channel, you would put this comment inside a document that you have and start collecting them. Um, that way you will prove that you understand the ethics of veganism. Remember that veganism is not about food. It is about compassion towards the animals. So people say they should have a choice to be vegan or not, but is that really true? When there are victims involved, there should be no choice. There should only be love and compassion. Be vegan. That's another example of a comment. So if you want to be a uh, vegan animal rights activist, that's great. You can comment anytime you want to on my site. But if you want to be named as a moderator and a teaching assistant, and those are the people in blue, then uh, it's important that you really prove that you understand the ethics. Remembering that veganism is um, something that we try to do our best with. We do not hurt animals on purpose. Vegans are not perfect because we live in an imperfect world. It's, it's not possible to be fully vegan yet because there are things like tires and all kinds of markers and things like that that are not yet vegan, but we can do our best every day, especially do not buy new items like that. If you find them uh, secondhand or you are, see items at the edge of driveways somewhere that people are throwing out, by all means, reuse them rather than buying new. Remember that veganism is best for the environment too. Cows produce milk. For baby cows it's not for us any more than your dog's milk or your cat's milk is oops this is missing an r stop touching cows inappropriately leave them alone stop raping them and stealing their milk so that's another example of a comment and you saw here above that you have um constantin is saying you're not a wolf and you have morals and um, vegan Alex here is saying, read the ingredients before buying animal products. You wouldn't want to be one of the pigs who suffer in gas chambers. Treat the animals like pets and be vegan. Thank you, vegan Alex. So it seems like vegan Alex is a true vegan animal defender. And that's great that this person is proving this in the comment section here. Great. Let's have a look at some other comments. I'm gonna push this thing here and we'll let the comments go. Um, somebody says, uh, talking to Constantin, I'm from Slovenia, I can't understand you. Okay, that's too bad. Yeah, there's a lot of people from around the world here, so everyone speaks different languages. Uh, Vegan Tam Australia says, go to don'twatch.org. If you can't stand watching it being produced, you shouldn't be eating it. Good point. Very good. So Japan here, Japan something says, can I be a moderator? And yes, you can be a moderator if you're an ethical vegan. Just keep teaching. So let's say to Japan. Oh no, which one was it? This one? Yeah. So keep teaching veganism. Yeah, and I'll put heart for that one. Now, if you are a moderator, your job is to do things like this. If you see all of these veggies and fruits, you can unhide it. So that's great. Somebody just did that. Somebody says, I'm pretty sure they don't shoot the cow. Pretty sure they, they get sliced brutally and it takes a while to clean up the blood. Well, Carolina, regardless of how they do it, it's wrong to enslave animals, just like it's wrong to enslave people. 
It's wrong to touch them in inappropriate manners, just like it's wrong to touch children in inappropriate manners. We don't touch um, dogs' private parts or cats' private parts or pigs' private parts or, or cows. No items should be, no, no animals, excuse me, should be touched inappropriately, just like humans. And since animals can never give consent, we should never be breeding them into existence. It's wrong to breed animals. I'm vegan and non-vegan. It's impossible. You're either vegan or you're not. Being vegan is a moral stance. It's like you can't say, well, I'm sort of half racist and half not. You're either racist or you're not. You can't say, well, I'm homophobic sometimes. You're not. If you're homophobic sometimes, it means you're always homophobic. Your job in this world is to make the world a better place. That's why you're here on this planet. We're all here just to try to leave the planet a little bit better than when we started. Jericho Wells, thank you for all of these beautiful uh, fruits here. So we are still behind the scenes here and we now have um, 101 people who are watching the comments. And the premiere is going to begin in 17 minutes. So thank you again for everybody who is here. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and pressing the notification bell. Let's keep this going. Um, somebody's writing broccoli. Well, that's good. Broccoli is vegan. Make sure you eat a lot of cruciferous vegetables every day. And a, lot, a large variety of foods. So I'm going to write eat broccoli let's encourage that person who just said to eat broccoli whoops i think i wrote broccoli -ly. no can't see my eyesight isn't as great as when i was younger eat broccoli there we go go like this and we copy i will just write that several times remember you only have up to 200 characters and then it won't let you. There we go. Eat broccoli. It's okay to brighten up the comment section with fruits and vegetables. This sort of makes it a happier place. And as soon as the music starts, we always spam all kinds of vegan foods. What else do we have here? Um, we have live a ethical vegan life. That's right, it says Psycho Phoenix 123. That's a very strange name that you have. Psycho meaning psychopath or meaning what? Psychology? I don't know. Let's see though. I've seen you make many vegan comments so far. So let's see if you can be a good moderator or not. Let's have a look. Remember that when you are talking about shopping, we don't buy uh, feathers. Another way of saying feathers is it's called down. And so don't buy down. Buying down can also support the cruelty of the foie gras industry. Producers of foie gras often boost their profits by selling the feathers of force-fed ducks and geese. It's absolutely awful what they do. Never eat foie gras. What else do we have? Somebody writes, oh, I don't know how to respond to that. Vegan Nathan shows a lot of broccoli. That's great. Why do you guys eat animals? They're adorable, says Shane Marlowe. All right, so Shane. Maybe Shane is also vegan. Let's see if we can make Shane a moderator and see what happens. Maybe, maybe Shane understands the ethics of animal rights and that we shouldn't be hurting animals. Save the world, be vegan. Yeah, we should definitely save the world and be vegan. Oh, I'm going to show this. Oopsie. See, I'm going to wait here and see if somebody else shows it or not. That's from somebody named The Carrot. Oh, doesn't look like it, so I'll just release that. There we go. So The Carrot is telling us to eat kiwis, and we should remember to eat apples and all kinds of other healthy vegan foods. Um, what else is good here? It's upsetting to me that so many people think of themselves as environmentalists and still eat meat and dairy products. Yeah, it's true, vegan town. That it's very strange that we live in a world where people say they care about the environment but are refusing to do the basics themselves to help create a better world. Being vegan reduces your eco footprint. Vegan Alex says, vegan 
be vegan and save the animals. So thank you, Vegan Alex, for being a good moderator here. Let's look at this one. Vegan teacher, just asking, what's wrong with eggs? The chicks at my old school were raised from eggs, gave them great environment to live in, and collect their unfertilized eggs. They lay each day. Okay, the problem with the egg industry is that no matter where you got the chickens from, the baby chicks, they were stolen from their mothers, first of all, as eggs to hatch in classrooms. That's wrong right off the bat. They're born and they never see their mother. That is just not okay. Second of all, in the industry, they murder baby boys because they'll never be able to lay eggs. So very few of the males are allowed to survive. And then they are artificially inseminating the females um, with the specific sperm from roosters that they want because they want the strongest roosters to be mating. So basically it's human interference on all levels. We shouldn't be sexually uh, handling any animals, not roosters and not chickens. We shouldn't be stealing from them. So if you think that rape is wrong, then be vegan. If you think that stealing is wrong, then be vegan. If you think that kidnapping babies and um, not allowing them to see their mothers and murdering them like they do in the dairy industry. If you think that's wrong, then be vegan. So basically being vegan means that you don't support rape, you don't support stealing, you don't support uh, being unkind, you don't support the Holocaust that's going on right now. Okay, what else do we have here? Somebody says, hello, save the world, says be vegan for your health, environment, and the animals. Let's, let's make this person into a moderator too and see if that person is able to continue to teach. All right, some more beautiful fruits and vegetables. Eat a variety every day. I try to aim for 30 different fruits and vegetables every day and uh, grains and pastas, uh, chickpeas. I have been recently using a lot of tahini and, and a lot of meals. Uh, tahini is ground up sesame seeds. So instead of cooking with oil, I will fry onions in a frying pan and then just add some tahini to my meals. I also eat noosh, which is called nutritional yeast. That's something else you can get. Which reminds me, I will write down here for people, Google, Oops. Vegan recipes, because that is a great way to make sure that you stay healthy. Google vegan recipes. So let's copy that to make sure that people see that. Remember, we can only go up to 200 characters. Do you think I can click one more? I don't think so. It's going to go over 200. What do you think? Oh, you guys can't see that. There we go. You see that? I'm gonna click it. Should I copy it one more time? I think it's gonna go over. It went over to 209, so I have to erase. There we go, to there. All right, so Google vegan recipes. So if you are a moderator, you can do what I just did, which is to write Google re vegan recipes and put a little leaf there and a little heart, and that is a way to get people's attention to make sure that they they think about that because some people are just a bit lost and they don't know how to be start becoming vegan. President Noob says, I think she's recording and she can't be get back to you, but be patient because that happened to me. Um, well, I'm right here actually. I do come in and out because I have a life to live. And since I'm on uh, social media about 18 hours a day, I do have to sometimes wash the dishes and I need to make myself some oatmeal and I need to walk my dog Bella and I need to have a shower once in a while. So, I mean, I have a life too, but I'm also popping in and out a lot and trying to create new videos all the time and doing research about which videos to create and also trying to promote a little bit on Instagram. Once in a while, I write something on Twitter, but I'm not there very often. And also, if you want to join me on Instagram, my Instagram, I'm going to actually, yeah, no, I'll just write my Instagram is that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. So join me there if you want. Um, I am, I am there without, there's no underscores and there is no hyphens or anything like that. It's simply that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. There's a lot of people who try to pretend to be me and 
There are many, many fake accounts, but that's mine. I have, I think, 19,000 followers over there on Instagram. I just don't have time to be everywhere. So my Instagram is that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. Um, vegan teacher, I meant to educate people, but I would like to be educated. What's wrong with playing video games? Can't people tell the difference between virtual world and reality? Okay, so that's a great question, Halo. So my answer to that is yes. I think that people can tell the difference, but I think it does desensitize people. I think that people have a slower attention span when they play too many video games and they can't sit still. They can't actually just pay attention in class as easily. But the most important thing is that it's simply a waste of time. Video games are a waste of time. There are many animals suffering It's our job to help oops, make the world a better place and not to hide our heads in video games. Okay, now does that mean that you can't have some fun in your life? Well, of course you can. Everybody's allowed to just veg out a little bit, lie down and read a book or something like that. but. If you're playing video games, the vast majority of them have to do with violence and breaking things up. And uh, it's much better to use your time to try to make the world a better place. Create, create new games that are vegan. That would be a good thing to do. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but that's the best I could come up with early in the morning as an explanation. What else? Okay, save the world, be vegan. Thank you for that. Great job. Um, solution, I, you could eat cats if you're eating dogs, uh, which they do in China sometimes, and cats there too. It's terrible. But how is it any different than eating pigs or eating chickens or eating cows? All of it is just wrong and unnecessary. Eat tofu. Eat tofu. Fu and rice and beans and lentils. That's what you can do. Eat healthy foods. Be kind. Don't hurt animals. There's no reason to hurt them on purpose. They never did a single thing wrong to you ever. There we go. What else do we have here? Let's let that go. Okay, so um, not sure who is pregnant. Why are you writing that? Um, was there a question about pregnancy before? I don't know. But certainly anybody can be pregnant and vegan. You can be vegan at any stage of development. You can be uh, pregnant. Uh, you can be vegan when you are a mother, when you are a father when you are a grandparent, a child, anybody can be vegan at any time. So eat healthy oatmeal made with chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, banana, apple pieces, dates, walnuts, almonds, Brazil nuts, blueberries, all of it. Be vegan. Let me put this V, I think shouldn't be a capital here. All right, be vegan and start now. Now, in case you're wondering, I have a list here on my desktop that I'm referring to. Let me just show you. I have a list of different comments here that I'm consistently updating and trying to improve. And they're, they're kind of, and then some random notes in there as well to remind me of things. But if you wonder how come I can uh, copy and paste things so fast, it's because I have some of them ready to go. So I'll take a comment, let's say, about extremism, and I'll put that here for you to read. So I copied it in my mouse, and then I can paste it over here. Um, somebody's saying you don't have to be vegan. What you do if you want to be a good person in this world. So we're not extreme. Defending the innocent is the least extreme thing a person can do. Murder is extreme. 
Eating animals who suffered and begged not to die is extreme. Be kind, be vegan, and start now. So this is another example of a comment that you can keep on your desktop yourself. Uh, if you want to be an animal rights activist or a teaching assistant here. And just keep a bank of these comments. Another one, for example, is factory farming contributes heavily to environmental problems all over the world. Think about the number of animals that are slaughtered every day to fill supermarkets with stock. Be brave and be vegan. Right, let's see what else we have. Something we can't change the course of nature. It's not in our nature. It's not natural to build these giant factories, these prison camps for animals. There's, that has nothing to do with nature. We rape these animals. We sexually manipulate them, force them to give their sperm, force them to receive sperm that they don't want. This is rape. This is bestiality. This is sexual abuse. There's nothing natural about all of that and keeping billions and billions of these animals, chickens, cows, pigs, turkeys, ducks, in, in these horrific places. The Holocaust is not natural. It is not natural and it never ended for the, the poor animals. So yes, and by the way, if today is your vegan declaration day, happy vegan declaration day to you. I'm so proud of everyone who has decided to be vegan. I know it takes 100 clicks until you become vegan, but you can definitely do it. Just pay attention, stay here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, happy vegan declaration day to all new vegans and those of you having your vegan anniversary day. Congratulations. The animals, thank you for being vegan. You're amazing. Now my vegan declaration day was June 27th in 2016. So I have been vegan for five years now. So our video here is about to start here this one we are going to be starting we have 150 people waiting for this premiere it's early morning here so uh, most people are still sleeping but we do have some people here from australia it's today is august 24th 2021 and i have 84.3 thousand subscribers and the premiere is going to start very soon so when it starts we spam vegan food and so get ready for that eat carrots good eat carrots just a reminder to everybody that halal meat which is uh, some sort of meat by some religious people that's they, they think it's okay is wrong halal meat killing is killing your religion is no excuse for animal abuse there's no right way to do the wrong thing animals are here with us not for us eat other things go to don'twatch.org to understand All right, let's get ready to spam some vegan foods. So, spam, oops, spam vegan foods. Let's do an avocado and let's do a red apple and let's do a watermelon. Spam vegan foods. Put that there. Do you think I have room for one more? I have 169. Do I have 30 characters there? What do you guys think? I'm gonna try. Oh, I did it, but not more than that. Okay, so spam vegan foods. And I'm gonna get ready again to do that one more time. I'm gonna be spamming vegan foods as soon as the music starts, which is very soon. Every time the music starts, Every time you hear that music, I want you to think about vegan foods. There we go. Every time. Let's change these. Let's see a yellow and let's say a carrot. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to everybody who is vegan. I am so proud of you. Thank you so much to my amazing moderators here who are helping to educate everybody. 
Thank you to everybody who has an open heart and who cares about the animals. Thank you to Vegan Alex for being here as a moderator. Thank you to President Noob, who is a great teaching assistant. Thank you to Semi the Vegan, who is also a great teaching assistant on this channel. You guys are really amazing vegan animal rights activists. Thank you also to Marshy. And oh, let's try and get this to show. Some of these are going by so fast that they need to show. Thank you to Save the World, who is a great animal rights activist as well. Thank you to Save the World for spamming these beautiful vegan foods. Eat veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Thank you to Psycho Phoenix123. The future is vegan, so start now. Thank you so much to everybody who is really thinking about the animals and trying so hard to be a better human and not hurt them. The video is going to be starting very soon. Oh, I went over. Let's go back. Every time you hear that music, I want you to think about veganism and helping the animals. And so this video begins with me on my bike and a song. And I'm going to turn that down while you guys, I'm going to go back with you again. You can watch this video on your own. This is where I find some books about animals in that shelf. And you can hear some of my songs. By the way, all of my songs are on Spotify. If you want to use them in the background or if you want to use them as for TikTok. Thank you to Vegan Tam Australia for being here today as well. Um, what do we have here? Say vegan teacher. Here we have late macchiato is coffee with milk. But recently I found out they now make vegan macchiato. I decided to share this because in case you like coffee. Wow. Well, thank you for that. Let's just make sure that we thank this person play with usaji thank you i want to use a capital thank you for choosing the vegan option and for sharing this with us i hope you will be vegan oops from now on there we go Your local vegan is uh, spamming some vegan burgers. Thank you for that. That is wonderful. Great. Over here in the video, I am talking about how children grow up and they are taught to love animals in so many of their stories. And yet later on in life, they grow up to eat them, which is so strange. Their parents start shoving dead bodies down their throats. Thank you, Mitchy, for being here. So they're saying be vegan from now on. And um, I'm gonna just go one more time. Oh no, I'm not gonna spam this now. The music is over. I'm gonna put a different comment here for you guys. So remember that honey is not vegan because it belongs to the bees. So we have no right to steal from animals. Bees are killed in the honey industry. They cut the wings of the bees so they can't fly freely. So be vegan and start now. And, oh, I went over, so I have to remove the start now. There we go. Let me get that going here. I'm working with two screens, so sometimes I lose my mouse. Does that ever happen to you? Okay, so it says here, this book has ink, and it comes from Raping Squidward. Um, Sometimes ink is not always vegan and that's a shame and we need to find a way to have vegan ink only. And it is possible because uh, certain companies only use vegan ink. So make sure that you try your best. Remember being vegan is not about perfection. It's just about doing your best to harm as few animals as possible. So in this video here, I'm talking about saving the animals. I'm talking about how we are taught from a young age that we can eat certain animals and we can uh, play with others and how crazy it is like why are you eating chickens why do we eat sheep and lamb and ducks we shouldn't do that so we're up to 219 people who are watching right now thank you everybody for being here thank you everybody who is commenting as the wonderful um moderators here this is great that you are here teaching 
And let's see, most of the authors of these books aren't vegan. That's true. I don't know why everybody thinks it's, it's, they're writing fun fact. You don't need to write that. It's just silly. What about bears? Should we police their honey intake? No, nope, because uh, animals don't have moral agency. We have moral agency, so we can choose to be kind or not, whereas the animals can't choose. So that's why it is important that we do our best, because we can. So be as vegan as possible. So I want to thank you all again for being here. Please uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to write it here. Subscribe. Um, press the notification bell. Uh, that way you can always be here with me when I have a new video going up and you can write if you have a question or if you want to be a teaching assistant here. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Oh boy, I had something in my mouth still and I didn't do that properly. Now I have to spend all this time pressing undo. So let me read some comments. So one of the things here, sometimes we have people who are here and they, they, they want to be um, moderators, but it turns out that they're really just not ready. So they, they teach something a bit, but then they realize, wait, I'm not fully understanding everything. So then we we just remove them and they can come back and be a moderator in six months or a year when they have matured a little bit more. I think I'm just going to get rid of this whole thing in one shot here like that. That's probably better. Hey, how come it's not letting me delete it? I have to go back. All right. So, um, vegan Nathan says there are some links I would love to share to the uneducated currently in this live chat. However, I cannot do so unless I'm a moderator. Okay, well, um, you can still teach anyway, Vegan Nathan, Nathan, um, or I can try to make you a moderator and see if you're ready. Maybe I'll do that. Press the notification bell. Oh my goodness, that took a long time for me to fix that. So let me try this. Do this and do this. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure that I, it was necessary. It doesn't look good without any um, little decorations, but anyway. Okay, so Vegan Nathan, where are you? Where is Vegan Nathan? Let's see if I can find Vegan Nathan who wanted to be a moderator. Where'd you go? Okay, well, I guess Vegan Nathan will come back. I don't, maybe I'm missing him and you guys are probably seeing him, but anyway. Um, subscribe to that vegan teacher, says Max the dog. So let's show that. Thank you. Um, so people are saying, what's your favorite kind of animal? That's not really a good question here because we're not, it's like saying, what's your favorite kind of race? Do you like black people? Do you like oriental people? You know, what's your favorite race? Do you like white people? Like who cares? You know, what's important is that we don't hurt any animals. That's the important part. So I wanna thank everybody for being here today considering becoming vegan. Please subscribe to this channel and tap the notification bell and coming up there'll be a whole bunch of other videos on screen. Have a look at them and be curious. Look around this site. There are some videos about Gordon Ramsay who is a terrible animal abuser. There are some about PewDiePie. He is the biggest vegan, uh, <laughs> vegan, no he's not yet vegan yet, he's pescatarian, but he is the biggest YouTube channel, YouTuber at the moment. He has 110 million followers and he did a vi video about me um, because I evaluated him. And um, there are also videos on my channel about Darman who is a producer of uh, videos and all kinds of different people that I, I do videos about. You can also learn about the animals and you can learn about healthy vegan foods. So thank you everybody for being here. Thank you to all of these great moderators. You guys are amazing. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Doo, 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 doo.